Before we get into this review, I'm not going to go over everything that Attack on Titan 2 has to offer, as I've already covered that in depth in my original review, which you can watch by clicking on the banner, which is going to pop out in the top right corner of this video now. I want to go over specifically what this DLC includes and what you're getting for almost a fully priced game of £39.99, or you can get the original game now for £54.99, including this brand new content. In the States, it's $39.99 or $59.99 for the bundle. So if you've never played the original game, you can basically pick it up for £15 or £20 respectively as long as you want this DLC. Or you can purchase the DLC separately if you already own the original game. In terms of the story, Final Battle picks up from Season 3 in the anime and includes five more characters taking the roster to 40 playable characters in this DLC. And if you want to use those in the original game, you can do. For those of you that watch the anime, the game follows it closely like it did in the original game. So it will please most fans out there without a doubt. I'm not going to spoil it here for you because if you watch the anime, then you know what's more or less coming in this game anyway. And even if you don't follow the series but enjoyed the original game, as I said, you're going to enjoy this. The gameplay hasn't changed a great deal with this DLC pack. Why would it when the game was so good in the first place? There are brand new modes that you're going to want to play though. These include character episode mode, which is a continuation of the narrative from the point of view of the original anime characters. Here you'll take on brand new missions and will fight fellow humans and not just titans, which made it rather more interesting I have to say. This adds a new element to the game, making it rather fast in sections and with the introduction of firearms, something else to think about when playing. New weapons have been introduced, the thunder spear and anti-personal omnidirectional mobility gear, adding even more stuff you need to get the hang of. Luckily, they have added a more simple control scheme for those that do require it. The Thunder Spear is great against armored titans and for getting out of some tough situations. Now here's where things do get rather interesting. If you don't want to use the traditional way of cutting down those titans, you can literally shoot them from afar using guns. And while I gave it a good go, it wasn't for me. It took away too much joy out of the experience of getting close and personal with a titan and ripping it to shreds with a blade. Don't get me wrong, it's not that it's not fun, but shooting titans from afar kind of took some of the challenge away for me. While some may love this new way of killing titans and having that different option, I still went back to the blades always. For those of you who reached the level cap, well, you'll be glad to know that it's been raised to 120 now. Upgrading weapons and finding loot is still as fun as ever and I could not wait to make some new stuff whenever I could. Territory mode though is something I enjoyed way more than I thought I would. Here you have a number of moves that you can take before having to return to base with any materials you may have picked up on those missions. Now when you do return you can upgrade the base, you can upgrade things such as the residential district, for more personnel, the plaza to increase the number of moves you have before having to return to base, there's the war room to increase the number of soldiers you can deploy, and of course a training ground to increase the amount of soldiers damage that can be output. There is all sorts of customizations too, from naming your regiment to customizing the emblem, to choosing whichever character you want to use, including the one you created when you first played Attack on Titan 2. The great thing here is a save does carry over. You can also create policy research and development and use the Wings of Freedom for luxury supplies for your regiment. Wings of Freedom can also be used to unlock some really sweet gear. Now as you take a turn on the map in this mode you'll pick up supplies on your way, you'll enter battles where you'll have to clear the map of titans, save others in distress and recruit soldiers to your regiment as well as taking on some boss titans. All really enjoyable and it's one that's going to keep you entertained for hours on end. There's so much content here in this expansion, which to be fair was not expected, so I'm glad it's here. The only thing that's going to put some of you off investing the money in this DLC is what I call Attack on Titan 2 Fatigue. Once I completed this game, I did find that it was rather repetitive. That's not to say it's a bad game, I did like that repetitiveness in this game, just purely because it's so enjoyable. However, when you come into the expansion, even with the new story parts and mode, as well as equipment, it still looks the same, plays more or less the same, and it's more of the same stuff you enjoyed before. If it's not broke, then why fix it? I get that. But on the other hand, you may already be a little bit bored of the game, and this is not going to change much with this DLC. However, if you do want more of the same and you couldn't get enough of the original game, then this is going to give players what they want in that regard, and for that, I can't fault it. 
The gun introductions will go one or two ways, I suspect, especially when you use the Gatling gun special for the first time. I'm still not entirely sure about that, but I'll leave that up to you. Let me know what you think. In terms of visuals and performance and audio, it's much of the same. All dialogue is voiced in Japanese and you have subtitles. The visuals still look good on the Switch, but it still suffers from slowdown. I was hoping that with this DLC and the patch, you know, that they could have sorted this out. It's a little bit of a shame that a year later, we're still having these issues on the Switch. In terms of value, as I said before, this is almost priced the same as a fully-fledged game. There is 20 gigs of goodness here, so make sure you've got the space. There's plenty to keep you occupied from the new story parts to getting your character back up to sort of level 120. The territory mode, which I was not expecting to sort of enjoy so much. Is it worth the price of admission though? I would say it's rather on the expensive side. It would have been really great if this DLC was around 20 pounds, you know, 25 bucks, something like that. 40 pounds, you know, is asking rather a lot for what is essentially a lot of the same, even though, you know, it is rather good. It depends how much you loved Attack on Titan 2 in the first place. Some of the stuff in territory mode is exclusive to the game as it's not taken directly from the anime at all, as in you can freely set teams and characters from the roster and certain conversation events that are not in the anime at all whether that floats your boat though and you know makes you pay the money is of course a down to you in terms of my verdict then attack on titan 2 was a good game in the first place one which i really thoroughly enjoyed the dlc final battle adds some new weapons new modes more of that great story and plenty more hours that you're going to just dump into this similar to before albeit with a few differences. If you want more of the same, then this is definitely gonna be for you. But if you've got Attack on Titan 2 fatigue, well, this isn't gonna be doing much for you to reinvigorate that enthusiasm. This is perfect for fans and those who loved the original game, but this is rather on the expensive side. And for that reason, it gets a 7.5 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you if you're still watching. Really appreciate the support that you've given the whole Switch Watch team. It's much appreciated. If you're new here, why not consider subscribing? Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so we can let you know when a review, feature, or gameplay video goes live. For all of you ladies and gentlemen that continue to support this channel, we really do appreciate it. Can't thank you enough. My name is Juan Romero from Switch Watch, and of course, I'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna leave a selection of other videos up above. Click on the one that takes your fancy. Take care.